In this video we're going to learn how to expand triple brackets. You've probably already seen how to expand a double bracket, something like this. If you haven't, or you want to revise it quickly, then there'll be a video link in my description. It is an important skill to be able to expand a triple bracket though, so you should check that first if you're unsure. So the questions we're going to try will look a bit like this, with a third bracket. The first step is to select one bracket to ignore for now. It doesn't matter which bracket you ignore, but I'm going to ignore the last one. Instead we focus on these two brackets and expand them in the normal way. So that could be FOIL or GRID method, whatever method you normally use. I'm going to use FOIL for this one and expand these. So the first two terms, x times x, that's x squared. The outside terms, x times negative 3, that's negative 3x. The inside terms, that's plus 5x. And the last terms, 5 times negative 3 gives negative 15. We can then simplify the x terms in the middle to give 2x. So we end up with this quadratic here. Now, it turns out that because this quadratic is equal to the two brackets above it, we can just replace it. So this part here is equal to this part here. All we need to do now is introduce our final bracket again, the x plus 4, and write that next to it. What we now have is a quadratic in the first bracket, and then a normal bracket for the last bracket. The way to approach this is to multiply all terms from the quadratic by all terms in the final bracket. In the quadratic there are three terms, and the final bracket there are two terms, so altogether we're going to do six multiplications, since three times two gives six. We'll begin with the x squared here, and multiply it by both terms in the final bracket. So first of all x squared times x, which gives x cubed. Then we'll do x squared times 4, so plus 4x squared. We've now multiplied the x squared by both terms in the final bracket, so we'll move along to the plus 2x. So plus 2x times x is plus 2x squared, and plus 2x times 4 is plus 8x. So we've now multiplied the plus 2x, so we'll move on to the negative 15. So negative 15 times x is negative 15x, and negative 15 times 4 is negative 60. So we've now multiplied all terms from the quadratic by all terms in the final bracket. The last step here is to collect like terms. So we're looking for any terms that have the same powers. x cubed doesn't, so we'll just write that by itself. We then look at these two terms here, they've both got x squared, so we've got 4x squared add 2x squared, which gives 6x squared. Then these two terms here have x, so 8x take 15x is negative 7x, and finally there's a negative 60 to write on the end. Now let's try a second example. The first step is to choose a bracket to ignore. In the previous example we ignored the last bracket, but it doesn't actually matter which one you choose, you should get to the same answer. In this one I'm going to ignore the first bracket. There is a reason for this which I'll show you in a moment. So we'll multiply these two brackets together in the usual way, so we'll do FOIL, x times x, x squared, x times negative 2, negative 2x, 2 times x, 2x, and 2 times negative 2, negative 4. We then come to simplify, and in this one, the negative 2x and the 2x cancel out. This is because it's a difference of two squares, so we end up with x squared minus 4. So we can put this in brackets, and say that these two brackets here are the same as this single bracket here. All we need to do then is reintroduce our x plus 6 and multiply these two together. You can see because it was the difference of two squares, it reduced the amount of terms that we need to multiply, so sometimes spotting this can help make your life easier. We're going to expand these, now since there are only four terms we can do it in the usual way using FOIL. So x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times 6 is plus 6x squared, negative 4 times x, negative 4x, and negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. This time when we come to simplify, there are no like terms, so we've actually just got the answer already. There's one final thing I want to show you. Sometimes questions could be written like this. You have to be careful with the last part. When it says x minus 4 all squared, that's referring to x minus 4 times another x minus 4. Some people may incorrectly expand this as x squared minus 16. What we should actually do is write this bracket twice, like this, and then carry on as normal. 
Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.